Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the Technical Trader. It's Monday night, March the 21st, and these are the charts of the day. Another big day in Wall Street. The market continues to roll forward, defying all the uh, bears. But uh, in any case, uh, another look at the charts of the day here. Some uh, new ones, some old ones, but uh, certainly some bullish ones. And uh, here we go with uh, Ashelon Pharmaceuticals, uh, Junior Biotech, which is run from the December low around two and a half up to nearly six and a half, and yet it's stair stepping its way higher. Now it's had a one, two, three, four, five way move, but it looks like it's ready for more upside. And uh, at this point, um, volume is surging today it was a gain of 24 cents or 4% on 1.8 million shares, but heaviest volume that I can see going back about a year and a half of us. So it's uh, significant that the stock is surging here. Um, today's high at 645 was right near the early March high. And if we can get through here, we can see the stock run perhaps up to the seven and a half, three quarter zone, secondary target at nine. CBR, cyber, which we talked about last month, broke out of this declining channel at that time from about the four and a half range and has run up to six and a half nearly, reaching 645 today, closing at 42, up 32 cents, five and a quarter percent gain on a million shares. Good volume breaking out, good surge here. Targets are seven and a half and eight and three quarters. CIGX has been a monster of late and run, has run from a dollar 73 or four up to 399, nearly touching four today. My short term target for four and a quarter. Uh, secondary target, uh, I think we're going to get there is around five dollars, depending on news. And uh, but the underlying technicals are surging here. And despite the fact we only made a novel new high today, we made a substantial new high on the on balance volume. And that means to me that even though we may get a pullback retest at some point, the stock looks to me like it's headed higher, has strong momentum. EBIX broke out today from this wedge pattern and this declining tops line, jumping to off 39 on three quarters of a million. But I think at this point, the stock may be headed for the mid 30s. That's my trading target around 35. Form factor had a big pop today, jumping $1.25 or 14.4% on the largest volume in nearly a month. Now, it hasn't quite broken out of this pattern, but if you take a look at the base, you'll see a long kind of um, coiling base pattern. The declining tops line today was tested. And it backed off a bit slightly, but closed not too far off of it. Move through the 10, 15, 20 zone in the next day or so. Could get this stock rolling towards a target of 13. Gulfport Resources, an outstanding independent oil and gas chart. Um, you can see that in August it, it's, it was 10 and a half, and here we are at 33.86 today's high. More than tripled in the last six, seven months. And yet, look at the volume in the last five or six sessions as the stock exploded off of 23 and a half to get to 33.86 today. 10-point run-up in the last six, seven sessions. So terrific day, uh, I mean, period for the stock, but it may be a little bit overbought and it's near the top of the channel. However, if momentum carries this further and it starts to spike up here, we could see 40 bucks in the stock pretty soon. Junior Oil Hero, Hercules Offshore, has been flagging for about three weeks in a very bull flag, very much of a bull flag. Today started to edge higher, up 29 cents or 5% on 5.3 million. And if we can get a pop through here and take out 629, I think we can see a stock at Seven and a half secondary target, eight and a half three quarters. Jazz Pharmaceuticals continues to act great, and you can see this rising channel that it's been in uh, basically since the um, August lows when it was trading around the, the uh, seven and a half range. Here it is tagging 30 today, more than triple, excuse me, more than quadrupled. Now, the top of the channel, however, indicates higher levels may be coming towards the 33 to 34 zone, my short term target. OBTI, beautiful. Spike up out of the falling wedge pattern today that had formed over the last couple, three weeks, which held the gap and the fifth day moving average. Very good technical day for that stock. 2.8 million shares up two points or six and three quarter percent. Looking for a run at the 35 high and a takeout that gets it up towards 38.39. Short term trading target for OBTI. Monster day today for Pran Biotech on news of an Alzheimer drug potentially. Stock nine and a half million shares, which is something like three or four times its float. Fantastic day for it. Jumping from 156 to 296 at one point. Closing at 270 up a dollar 23 or 83.6%. Big day. Here's resistance up around 335.40. That's my short term target. And you can go back and see why I set that up here. This low, this high, this high, and this high, all on the same level around the three and a quarter, 330 range, something of that nature could thwart the current advance, but uh, eventually if a breakout does occur, we can see the stock at you know five, five and a half, six, something like that. So 
to keep your eyes peeled on this one. And any kind of bull flag setup here may be an opportunity. Rediff. I think the time has come after about two and a half months of decline here, equal to what the time period was here. Also meeting, coming up to the trend channel bottom here. Right in this zone here. Today it jumped 35 cents on a pickup in volume, um, but we need to get more than that. And a move across these say six, six and a quarter range with volume could get this one going. Trading targets are uh, seven and three quarters and 9.90. Trex, T-R-E-X. After popping in February and flagging for the last two and a half, three weeks, today broke out for 88 cents and now appears it's headed for the mid 30s at the top of the channel, secondary target 38. UNIS has been spiking up of late. Um, strong volume and, thrust and technical thrust took, took it across the climbing top sign, 50 day moving average, and lateral price resistance on Friday, and today it followed through. Targets are 595.6, six five, let's call it six and a quarter for my target on this one short term. And that is it for today's update and for some new ideas on the long side as well. Take it easy. Be careful tomorrow. Bye bye.